Alright, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers, so make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man, he gonna hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons, but man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next, and let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace. All right, man, let's talk about uh, Houston Rockets. They are, once again, making the news, trying to desperately trade for the number one pick from Detroit Pistons. Let's talk about it. Hit the thumbs up video. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. Share the video. It says 2021 NBA Draft. Houston Rockets trying to move up and acquire the number one pick from the Pistons per report. Uh, make sure you thumbs up the video and share the video for your boy. It says 2021 NBA Draft is now less than a week away, which means it's time for trade rumors to start heating up. Draft night is one of the busiest nights of the entire NBA calendar. And then there's always plenty of activity as teams look to improve their roster for another, for either the present or future. This year should be no different. There are plenty of stars who could be on the move, including Bradley Beal, Ben Simmons. And in top of the draft is uh, as talented uh, as it has been for a long time. Excuse me. Detroit Pistons hold the number one pick. They are expected to take Kate Cunningham. However, the guard out of Oklahoma State has plenty of admirers. And the team will try to pry the pick away from the Pistons. One such a team is the Houston Rockets, according to Shams. The Rockets are currently have the number two overall pick. Uh, quote, the Houston Rockets have the number two overall pick in their 2021 draft. I'm told they're aggressively pursuing the number one Detroit Pistons number one pick. The Rockets have done extensive research on the presumptive number one overall pick, Kate Cunningham. If that's the player they would target if they are able to land a number one pick. As now the Rockets have number two and they're doing their research. Uh, to see if they can move up to number one, or the possibilities they have, uh, or the power possibilities they have at number two. Okay, so uh, you know, at the end of the day, they keep trying, man. But they say the problem is all of the positive traits will make the uh, make it extremely difficult to convince the Pistons to give a number one pick. Houston does have number two pick, two and two first round picks, 23-24 in this year's draft, but the roster is pretty depleted in terms of interesting young players as to rebuild a uh, player to re. To re Interesting young players to rebuild for the Pistons. So my thing is this: if they did do it, minimal. I need a two pick, twenty three to twenty four. I need a twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three unprotected first round picks. And I want my and I want my pick back that's top fifteen protected. You know, if they won't K that bad. I'm bare minimum. You know, and you know, maybe throw Kevin Porter in there too, rape them. But at the end of the day, if you love, if they love Kevin K Cunningham that much, they wouldn't give up all that. I think we got to take K Cunningham. All right, I think you got to take K Cunningham. I think, uh, you know, but if they do want to give you 2022, 2023, and they picks this year, and an unprotected pick, in, or a protected pick in 2024, do it. You know, but then again, you don't want to finally get your number one pick the first time in the lottery and trade it. You know, then they don't probably want to give you a number, another number one pick. You know, but it's huge. You know, but if they feel that way about K Cunningham, man, I think you got to take him. You know, and they got to pick between Green and, and uh, Suggs and Kaminga and Mobley and all them other guys down there. But, like I said, Houston treating him like he a presumptive. No, he's like he LeBron or he Shaquille O'Neal. So, if he, you know, he that, you got to take him. If he up there with those guys, you got to take him. And I think there's no excuses for the Pistons not. But if they do, you know, you got to make sure. But Houston may have a number one pick in the, in the next couple of years. So, but who knows? But I need 2020. I need they picks, all they picks this year they pick next year, they pick the year after that, and they pick the year after that. Uh, they can, the last year, 2024, could be protected. They can protect that pick. Uh, but, um, but yeah, man, I don't, I don't think they're going to trade K. And I think it would be boo, foolish to trade K. They sold like four, they say they sold like 400,000. They said they sold like 400,000 in, uh, in tickets as soon as they got the number one pick. So people excited about K Cunningham. Okay. They are very excited about K, and I think uh, I don't think it'd be smart to move them. But if you did, you know it can't be nothing nothing less than extravagant, nothing less than you taking every pick away from Houston. Not nothing less. So that to me, I, starters have to be. They say all they picks this year. They first round pick next year. Give us our pick back. That's top fifteen protected. Twenty twenty three. They can protect twenty twenty four. But them picks I want. You know, but I'm not trading Kate for nothing less than that. You know, like I said, they ain't got no players. Jason Tate and Kevin Porter be the only people I'm interested in. You know, Christian Wood back, he always injured. 
Last year was injured, man. But um, don't want John Wall. Don't want Sterling Brown who got beat the hell up. Shannon Brown, little brother. You know, other than Kevin Porter Jr., it's the only person you want. You don't want Eric, and Jason Tate. You don't want uh, Eric Gordon, DJ Wilson, trash, Dante Axum, trash. I don't know the rest of these people. Trash. Come on, man. And, you know, then they, uh, there was a trade that happened yesterday. Uh, I threw a trade that happened. Uh, Houston and them did something. I think uh, Memphis, uh, Memphis made a trade. Let's see what it was. They go tell the trade. So, so I don't know. I guess it's a rumor. So they supposed to trade the 17 pick to uh, somebody. I was, maybe I was dreaming. In my dreaming. Yeah, yeah. In my dreaming. <laughs> Last start. Let's start bang. So I thought it was a trade, man. It was something. Memphis trading a 17th pick. It was something like that. Memphis trading a 17th pick to somebody. Whoever had the 10th pick. Whoever had the 10th pick. Let me see. The Pelicans, yup. The Pelicans. They yeah, supposed to make the trade, but um, mm -hmm. they yeah, supposed to make some type of trade, man. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a fucking dream, or maybe I was I don't know what I was talking about, but it was a trade they was talking about. I thought that went through, but um, but yeah, man. I mean, I think they gotta still got a glaring hole at two guard. And don't y'all sit here and say, well, Kenyon, I can play a two. Y'all know nothing about basketball. Killian is not a two. Killian is not a two. So, I mean, Killian is not a two. And, you know, this is K. I want K with the ball in his hand. Flat out. That's it. And we ain't going to people talking about Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum, man, you don't want no Jason Tatum. Because it takes a great player. I take him, but he ain't going to make nobody better. Yeah, it's not gonna make nobody better, but um, but yeah, they gotta find a two guard, bro. Let K run the show, put Killian off the bench and go. But um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna trade back up for Bo Knight, Moody, Keon Johnson. Keon Johnson's nice. Let me uh, he just can't shoot. You know, neither can Wade shoot coming to the league. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, video request, all the social media subscription. Twitter's the fastest way. Um, then Twitter and Instagram. I want to make a donation? Cash App, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, other than that, man, uh, let me know what you guys think. Check the Trade Pistol Talk playlist out. Check the comment section out. Hit the comment section up. I'm a little off today, but peace.